Hey, everybody, and welcome to a special episode of Decking Around. Today, we're going to be touching on an important topic within the card community, and that is how to avoid getting scammed when buying playing cards. One of the things we've seen a lot recently, and I know Steve has been dealing with this, is a lot of people have reached out about getting scammed or not getting updates or not getting their cards for months on end and not having any word from their sellers. It's really important that within this community, you operate with certain specific ideas in mind to avoid getting scammed. So today we're going to run through our top five tips on how to avoid getting scammed when buying playing cards online or in person. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So tip one is buy from reputable shops. You want to make sure that you're buying from card shops such as Wounded Corner or Card Inn in the UK or any other local shop so that you're aware of who you're dealing with. There's a lot of card shops within the community that have established history that people have dealt with that have great reviews and great community involvement. You're going to want to make sure that you find those card shops. And if you're not sure who they are, talk to people who you follow in the community, who you see are active in the community. It's really easy to fall prey to some of these new shops that pop up. And with Shopify being so easy to build out, you could lose money because you're buying cards from somewhere that really has doesn't even own the cards. So keep in mind to buy from reputable shops. The second tip is research the parties you're buying, selling, trading with. And this really relies more on when you're dealing with individuals. So if someone is buying cards from you, or you are buying cards from another person, or you're trading deck for deck, make sure you research the person, make sure you know and talk to people who they've dealt with in the past. It's even reasonable to ask the person for references, see who they've sold to or bought from in the past, so you can kind of get a feel for their reputation. You want to make sure that you aren't dealing with someone who isn't going to deliver your goods or isn't going to deliver your money or isn't going to deliver the deck that you're expecting in return, especially when you're dealing with international bu uh, buyers and sellers because there's already a built-in delay on shipping. You want to make sure that you're as communicative and well-researched in who you're dealing with. So the third tip here. Always use PayPal goods and services. Always. Yeah, this is a really important thing. Um, I've gotten uh, several people actually reach out to me and uh, say that they paid with Western Union or they paid with friends and family through PayPal. And that is definitely an issue that um, has come up and is something that's going to happen time and time again. Uh, I, I can't stress enough people need to only use goods and services. That way, whatever you purchase, you have protection through PayPal. Um, that way, you know, you can, um, you know, fight the transaction and PayPal is usually, you know, very good at returning your funds. They usually deduct it out of the buyer's account right away. And then they wait as you're going through the process of trying to solve it, um, you know, and then if it can't be solved, they automatically deposit the funds back into your account. Absolutely. You want that protection when you're dealing with parties who you may not know in person. So always good to use oh, sure. PayPal goods and services. Yeah. And for number four. Use a trusted middleman. And what I mean by this is when two parties are uh, getting involved in a transaction, the seller will sell, send the decks uh, to the middleman. And when the decks are received, the buyer pays for those decks and the money gets sent to the seller and the middleman sends out the decks to the buyer. Um, the only downside of this is that the buyer or seller has to pay the extra shipping cost from the middleman to the buyer. Um, but it, it's definitely a way to kind of have added protection, uh, you know, to make sure that there's no scamming involved and you get your decks and the other person gets their money. Or if you're doing a trade, both people get their decks. Um, you know, just make sure you're dealing with a reputable source and who is okay with being a middleman. Uh, if anybody has any concerns about that, they can definitely reach out to me and uh, I will be happy to do that free of charge. And number five, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. 
this old adage is really kind of important in this situation because you may find a really great deal and it may in fact turn out to be true, but more often than not, it won't be. And while I'm not saying to steer clear of what seems to be too good of a deal, go into it being aware that there's a very high likelihood that it is too good to be true. If you see things on eBay where you're already using something like PayPal and you have that goods and services protection, it may be worth taking the risk. But when you're dealing with individuals or again with shops that you don't know, it may be that too good of a deal really is too good to be true. So make sure that you stay informed and protect yourself as much as possible. Yeah, and, and definitely, I, I think a big thing that we also need to do is share, um, you know, when we come across scammers, you know, we need to, we need to share their stories, we need to share, uh, you know, people's posts and, and spread it around the community so nobody else gets scammed. Absolutely. A big part of this is making sure that people are aware because without that awareness, you're not going to know who to avoid or be able to do what we mentioned in step two, that research there. So make sure if you are unlucky enough to become the victim of a scam, be aware of it, point it out to the community, share their account, whether it be Instagram or wherever with friends and just make it visible. Yeah. And, and also if you, if you feel like you've been scammed, or the person isn't getting back to you, reach out to a middleman like myself. Um, you know, I'm always open to reach out to the the seller or the buyer or whatever it may be to try to, you know, come to a solution, uh, you know, without putting that person's name out there, you know, because sometimes we never know, something may happen on the other end that we're unaware of. Um, you know, we don't want to jump too fast to conclusions. So it kind of gives, um, you know, just another, Another uh, direction uh, with the whole situation and just trying to really find out the, the whole story rather than just half of it. Absolutely. So make sure to be safe while you're out there picking up new decks and happy collecting, everyone. Yeah, peace. Thanks for watching and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.